As capital cities go, London is about as cosmopolitan as you get. With many cultures and religions living side by side, one of the biggest challenges is building a society based on tolerance and mutual respect. A Syrian-born Church of England priest believes he has the answer. Any attempt to teach the faith from a, a, a mono perspective is not appropriate for the world today. We need to have reference to other faiths and see what they believe in in order to understand ourselves better. In 2003, Father Nadim Nassar launched the Awareness Foundation to combat ignorance and to change people's preconceived notions about the world's religions. The Awareness Foundation is a response to what happened 2001, 9-11. And after that, we, we felt, I felt personally, how ignorant we are about our faith, our own faith and let alone knowing what is going on around us and knowing other faiths. The misunderstanding and the misconception is dangerous because the West looks at the East and they see Islam and they see fundamentalism. The East looks at the West, they see uh, wrong Christianity. The foundation runs regular courses, workshops, and offers a training program for future course leaders. We are in the business of changing attitudes. We are in the business of uh, changing uh, paradigms, the way of thinking. The foundation also operates a US branch at St. Paul's Episcopal Church on K Street in Washington, DC. Back in London, Father Nadim works closely with other faith leaders and scholars who are committed to breaking down social barriers and educating about peaceful coexistence. The biggest stumbling block for all of us is the fact that we're ignorant to something. You know, as we say that the biggest enemy is not a person, it's ignorance. And mm. the only way to remove that ignorance is education. When we talk about religion, we have to look at culture as well. If you can understand the language of the people, you can then understand the culture of the people. If you understand the culture of the people, you can break down those barriers. Once you break down those values, having knowledge of Islam or Christianity, it then means that two people can come together. And I can say this, all religions that I've studied, no religion likes violence. Uh, they don't like extremism. Uh, they have an ethical side. There's a moral code which is there. They have parameters which are there. We just need to understand them. I will always support you because I know that whatever you do, you do for the betterment of our communities, our societies. And I feel the church needs to utilize you a lot more. And today, if there is an initiative, there is a move, there is a push towards a dialogue, I think the Awareness Foundation is leading the way on that. For Episcopal News Service, I'm Matthew Davis.